This video is on how to field strip and clean the Breda PX4 subcompact. I know everyone has their own way of doing things, including myself, but today I'm not going to do it my own way. For training purposes, I'm going to go right along with the Breda owner's manual. This video is meant for total beginners, so if I go too fast, just pause and rewind as needed, and if I'm going too slow, just fast forward. To get started, you'll need a few things. CLP, which stands for Cleaner, Lubricant, and Protectant. A nylon brush, preferably one that's specific for gun cleaning. A 9mm sized bore brush. You can use bronze or nylon. 9mm sized jag. You can also use a patch holder instead of the jag, but I get better results with the jag. Cleaning rod. Cleaning patches. Microfiber rags. And a bore snake. The bore snake is optional, but I highly recommend one. I'll show you why later. You can get all of these items from your local gun shop or sporting goods store, but it's going to be less expensive on Amazon. I'll leave links to everything in the comments below. Always start out with an empty weapon, but of course I'm going to double check anyway. To do that, press the magazine catch button, drop the magazine, keep your finger outside of the trigger guard, point in a safe direction, and work the slide a few times. If somehow you've accidentally left a round in the chamber, it's going to eject at this point. Hold the grip with your strong hand, and with your weak hand, pull the slide to the rearmost position. Now hold the slide back by pressing the slide stop lever upward. Now visually and physically inspect the chamber, and we are 100% clear. Now look for the takedown lever. It's going to be right on top of the trigger guard and right in front of the slide stop lever. Rotate it downward to the 6 o'clock position. Pull the lever out. You can pull it totally out if you want to, or you can leave it inside the frame. Like that. I'm going to leave it in the frame for now, but I'll probably remove it later just to make sure it's totally clean. Now press the slide stop lever downward, and remove the slide from the frame. Compress the recoil spring from chamber end to muzzle end and pull it out. Now the tolerances on some of these new subcompacts are really, really tight, so that barrel is not just going to come out, at least not on this particular gun. So everyone's hands are different, but find the best way to do sort of a push and pull motion with that barrel. So I'm pushing down with my finger and grabbing it from the lug and pulling it out with my other hand. And this is as far as you need to go for a basic field strip and clean. We are not doing a complete disassembly. So you only have five basic parts to work with, the slide, the recoil spring assembly, the barrel, the frame, and the magazine. You don't have to clean these parts in any particular order, but today I'm going to start with the frame. So add CLP to your nylon brush and start scrubbing all surfaces. Pay particular attention to the rails. You're also going to clean the grips of CLP. You're going to scrub all the dirt off of the CLP and then you're going to wipe it totally dry. These grips, nor any other part of the frame, will be slippery when we're done. After you're done scrubbing the frame inside and out, you've loosened up all the dirt, carbon, and fouling and whatnot, add CLP to a clean cotton swab and go through it in fine detail. When the Q-tip starts to get dirty, get a fresh cotton swab, add CLP, and repeat the process until the cotton swabs start coming out clean. Once your frame is totally clean, you can wipe off the excess CLP with your microfiber rag. And the best way to get the CLP off of the stippling on the grip is just wrap your rag around it and squeeze. Now your frame is clean, but you don't want to leave these rails totally dry. Add a medium coat of CLP to the rails as well as any of the parts that show evidence of metal on metal wear. Let's start on the slide. Add CLP to your nylon brush and start scrubbing all surfaces inside and out. Give special attention to the rails. As well as the breech face, that part seems to get really dirty, but be careful not to leak CLP down into that hole that the firing pin comes out of. Also be sure to clean behind the extractor really well. The small end of the nylon brush seems to work well for that part. Once you've scrubbed all the dirt off of the frame, add CLP to a clean cotton swab and go through it in fine detail. You'll see as you run clean cotton swabs through the rails, they'll come out dirty. Just continue running clean cotton swabs through until they start to come out clean. After the slide is totally clean, add a medium coat of CLP to the rails as well as anything else that you see evidence of metal on metal wear. Now wipe off the excess CLP with your microfiber rag and you're done with the slide. Now clean the barrel. Add CLP to the bronze bore brush and push it through from chamber end to muzzle end. 
The lazy way to do this would be just to push the brush in and out through the bore so you don't have to remove it from the rod and start over again, but it doesn't make any sense at all to push the dirt out and pull it right back in. You wouldn't clean your high precision rifle that way, so why would you clean your pistol that way? Kind of like sweeping the floor, you wouldn't just push the broom back and forth because you would just spread dust everywhere. You would generally sweep in one direction into a dustpan or out the door. So after the brush comes out of the muzzle in, I take it off, pull the rod out, put the brush back onto the rod, and push it through again. So the dirt's going out only in one direction, chamber in to muzzle in. Now attach the jag to the cleaning rod, and kind of like the bore brush, you're only pushing this through in one direction, chamber in to muzzle in. Add CLP to a cleaning patch and push it through. When it comes out the other end, inspect it. It's probably going to be really dirty. The first few patches use the R. Just keep running clean patches through until they start to come out clean. Add CLP to your nylon brush and start scrubbing all outer surfaces of the barrel. Now I'm going to wipe it totally clean with my microfiber rag. Now this is the optional part that I spoke about earlier. If you're going to use the bore snake, just make sure it's the correct size. It'll say 38, 380, 9mm, or 357. Feed the brass weight through the chamber, pull it out through the muzzle. Do this a couple of times, then inspect the bore. And this is why I use a bore snake. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but that bore is spotless. It looks better than it did when it came from the factory. There's not even a speck of dirt, dust, carbon, fouling, nothing. The rifling and everything inside the bore looks perfect. Add CLP to the brush and scrub the recoil spring. Scrub in between the coils and on both ends. Now wipe off the excess CLP. There's no need to disassemble the magazine every time you clean, unless you dropped it in mud, dirt, sand, or something like that. This particular magazine just needs a basic cleaning and wipe down. So I add just a little bit of CLP to the brush and I scrub it thoroughly, but I'm very careful not to leak CLP down underneath the follower or in these witness holes. If CLP is starting to leak down into places you don't want it to go, then you're using too much. If you do need to disassemble your magazine, it's easy enough. I really don't think you need a video to show you how to do it. All you do is press that button at the bottom of the base plate with a small screwdriver or punch, slide the base plate off, the spring and follower will come out, Use CLP to clean the spring, the follower, and inside the magazine sleeve. Wipe everything totally dry before you reassemble. You don't need the inside of the magazine being wet. If you leave excess CLP inside the magazine, it's just going to attract dirt. So after I've cleaned the magazine, I'm just going to wipe off the excess CLP with a microfiber rag. I decided I want to go ahead and remove the takedown lever and clean it off before I reassemble. Earlier, when I field stripped, the barrel was kind of hard to get out. I'm not sure how it's going to work in this case. Let's see. Okay, in this case, it went back in fairly easy. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Reinstall the recoil spring. This end right here goes towards the muzzle end. When installed correctly, it should look just like this. Now line up the rails on the slide and the frame, and pull the slide all the way back, and be careful with this little piece right there. If it's sticking up, just make sure you push it back down before you pull the slide all the way back. See how easily it can be moved up and down if you're not paying attention? Make a C-clamp with your hand, pull the slide back, and line up the takedown notch with the hole that the slide stop goes into. Put the slide catch lever back in. Let's do a function check. Work the slide, pull the trigger, the hammer's going to drop. But don't let it go. Pull the slide again. Let the trigger reset. You should hear and feel it. Then pull the trigger again. If the hammer drops, you're good. But I also like to make sure the slide's going to lock back on an empty chamber. To do that, insert a magazine and pull the slide back. It should stay locked back. If it does, everything's good. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll do the best I can to help you out. And if you have a moment, visit SkullCrush.com. Thanks for watching and be safe.